China has conducted a third day of military exercises in waters near Taiwan, with armed forces edging close to the coast. Taiwan's defense ministry says it believes the People's Liberation Army is simulating an attack on the island. Mainland state media again showcased the might of the People Liberation Army as it continued a series of drills close to Taiwan. The PLA's Eastern Theater Command released a new set of photos, including one of a soldier with binoculars and a warship in the background. According to the Global Times, the warship is a Lanyang 935 frigate, a Taiwanese military vessel leased from the United States. The command also said it continued exercises in the sea and airspace, north, southwest and east of Taiwan. The Maritime Safety Administration announced it would be conducting up to 10 hours of sea gun firing exercises daily in the South Yellow Sea from today until August 15th. Taiwan's defense ministry, meanwhile, confirmed that a number of PLA planes and warships operated near the island's coast today. Some crossed the Taiwan Strait's median line, an unofficial but accepted border that runs across the middle of the channel. Taiwanese media quoted a military officer as saying the island was retaliating by having just as many warships, each assigned to monitoring a PLA vessel. As tensions soar in the region, a top official involved in Taiwan's missile production reportedly died of heart attack. Ouyang Li Xing was found unconscious inside his hotel room in Pingtung County this morning. He had been on a business trip to the area to inspect the Jiupeng base.